Now I see why they only have five people on their podcast. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Give me the news. All right. It's officially time. We're, we're going to pull this up. Hey. All right. What are we calling this podcast, by the way? Is this the Twisters podcast? The Twitch cast. Yeah, it's got to it's got to be the Twister cast. The I don't feel like I've been properly initiated into the Twisters. So. Well, we're gonna get that dick and twist it. Yeah, I was gonna say you're gonna have to get your dick twisted. Our country can shoot you in the head. Oh wait, he's already done that. Oh, if that's initiation, then I'm in. <laughs> I'll say I'm in too. I don't think I've ever shot you in the face. Yes, I've you shot have. Fritzy in the face. I have multiple times. You've put enough body shots into me; it counts as a face shot. There you go. <laughs> you put shots into me too, sir. When? The intentionally. Intentionally. When? Cancel out. What is this cribbage? Yes. <laughs> Close enough. We don't. Right. We don't examine things closely, French. <laughs> All right. Let, let Let's start this this mess of a train wreck of an idea I, I had. Oh, this is beautiful. This is sick, dude. Dude, I love it. This is. 2020 content, okay? It is 2020 content. All right, so so let's everybody introduce yourself. Uh, I'll start. I'm I'm Sage and Pudge. I'm literally the idiot of the group that just knows what loot's expensive. <laughs> I know how much stuff costs. I don't do anything else. Uh, guess I'll go next. Yes. Uh, I am Beowulf. I am a growing that honey badger where i've stopped caring about money and i just run kits to run them and quests and i get these are them. also in permanent danger everything's in permanent danger <laughs> uh i've had more thermals come back than probably anyone in the group and i'm not sure how i don't know how they come back fretzy you're, you're up next. next yep you're next uh, I'm Fretzy, uh, formerly known as Fracture. Um, Resident I... Chad. No, no. <laughs> I, like to sh I like to shoot people. Um, no, I'm actually pretty new to the game. This is my first wipe. I, I think you guys are all first wipe too, though, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yep, I am. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I like to run shoreline, get money, shoot people from far away. And uh, people close, like Pudge in the showers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. All right, well, don't everybody speak up at once, but I will be your Canadian ginger beard of the group. I can tell you that right now. Um, started, like just like Fretzy said, first wipe. Uh, one of my favorite, my absolute favorite platform is going to be the 545 by 39 AKs. I love building those things. They're just a lot of fun. Dangle a little 60 mag out of there. Oh, baby! See me turn Honey Badger real quick. And I love running with these boys. I can't tell you that enough. It's a good, it's good dynamic we got going on here. We, we, It's like peanut butter and jam with us, I tell you what. It's a good time. Come hang out with all of us. I tell you that. Next! Except for me. Don't hang out with me. Uh, <laughs> I am BG Country. I learn from the idiot of the group, and I don't know the price of things, so I'm kind of a step down. But uh, I do like shooting people in the face. Sometimes they happen to be on my team. We just don't talk about it. But you're, you're number one in our hearts, Country. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Well, how was everyone's week at Tarkov? How, how did they go? Let's just say all of last week. Would, uh... would you say a good week? Or bad week? Last week is stretching my memory. It oh yeah, I true. forgot there was a special birthday that happened. <laughs> there, there's been an occasion in, in between since, at least. Not like I need a special day, but... You had a very uh, special what day? Was last week? Last week? What the hell was last week? Well, I mean, last yesterday week. was a special day, so I mean, anything before that is probably just vapor. <laughs> oh yeah, it's... it's vapor and smoke. Um, yeah. Deep fried. Definitely. Well, I mean, I guess I'll start out like my week was pretty okay. It's losing gunfights, but making money is kind of how I would describe it. That, that's um, a fair way to put it. It's a fair way to put it. You know, I broke 
30 mil for the first time this week and almost nice. immediately spent a good chunk of it on graphics cards. <laughs> 38 uh, of them, by the way. <laughs> 38 graphics cards at roughly 300k a piece. Just, just a little honey badger. Uh, I was like 11 mil. It, oh my god. I'm at, I'm at 23 mil still right now. You poor soul. But, but three, <laughs> three bitcoins when I get back from work is just too. It's just too good not to have. It's like 500k when I get back from work. Why not? All right. What about you, country? Passive income. Yeah, exactly. Overall, I'd say I had a pretty good week. I uh, climbed out of 2.5 mil. I put a lot of my hideout. So I climbed back from 2.5 back up to about 4.5 mil, which is about where I usually hover. Uh, but we're constantly climbing, getting them quests done and whatnot. I was finally getting to the part of the quest where uh, the rewards actually mean something. So I'd say it's overall a win. And now you, Fretzy. What I remember this week was pretty good. Um, we we ended up killing Sturman. We had some good woods raids. Finally got those headshots on woods. Um, kind of been hovering around 18, 18 mil, which is nice. I don't know. It's enough to not have to worry about it, but not enough to like, dude, I'm a Chad kind of thing, you know? You see other people with like 65 mil <laughs> <laughs> or bio over here with 30. Yeah, see, and at that point, like, I'm only kind of sitting in, like, the 12, 14 mil window, and I'm already kind of going, like, what do I need this much money for? Yeah, like, what you know, do I like, need? It's just kind of bragging for. rights for other Tarkovians, and I don't think other Tarkovians really give that much of a shit. Mm -mm. You know, it's just like, oh, good for you, you're on the rise. Cool. Some of them will, because, you know, the ones that, like, flip flea market, and they're all like, look at my 500k raid and it's like well okay but how much what are you throwing that money into like what, what is your money running? how much fun are you actually having <laughs> are you playing a math game or tarkov all right are you playing tetris are you playing for points <laughs> like, <laughs> well and maybe that's part of the the absolute excitement and draw of it it's just like there's so many kind of different veins and like, ways that you can play it right so it's yeah. drawing not only the shooters but like the people who just like the logistics of it you know? I, I think that's what kind of brought us all like all together as a group because we're all kind of like a different style of people like kind of but at the same time <laughs> I think Bill's question deserves to be answered. Yep, that that is a viewer question. A question for uh, Crunch uh, and Bio: Why aren't they wearing hats? What kind of hat you want? I got, I got a cowboy hats. hat, preferably. I don't own. Please, one. <laughs> I will buy you one. Okay, if you buy me one, I'll wear it. Done. Okay. All right. I, I guess I'll hat, finish up please. with how my week went. We did have to say goodbye to the uh, the old fourteen win streak. Mm. which oh rest in peace 14 thanks customs for glitching out and not letting me uh do anything with no sounds because that's what killed it was a tarkov was that the I, one where you couldn't aim uh, no i uh i got in and i had no sounds so i went back in i uh, alt f forward went back in and i had my mouse hovering over the back to see if i could hear the sound as it started loading and apparently when it uh skips and like loads the map there's a point where it actually clicks on its own. Because all I was doing was wiggle in the very bottom of the mouse, and I left. Hmm. But otherwise, I mean, we made a lot, a lot of money. We went from 12 million last week up to 17. And we do have Bob, Bar Bob Marley here now as well. Was last Crunch. week the week that I lost eights, a bunch of eights gear. Because that feels bad. Uh, that was the week before. Uh, all right, we're all hatted. Last week, last week was just dick twisting tasking. Uh, we did tasking. We did a lot of... Uh, we did do a lot of tasks. We, everyone got a lot of tasks done, except for me, because oh, right. I am yeah, the anti-quester. Yeah, last, <laughs> last week was good then. I remember last week. Yeah. yeah. Last week was just tasking and getting shit done. It was a good time. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember the last task I actually completed, though. 
Well, I think a good deal of y'all's time has been sherping me around on my tasks. Because I know y'all have been helping me grind through these tasks like crazy lately. Yeah. Plus, like, some of the later ones, it's like, kill 30 scabs. It's like, well, that takes a while. Yeah, you Especially don't. Especially when you're that running could... three to five mans and everyone needs to survive, so they kill a scab. Like, and I hold nothing against anybody that's doing it. It's like, just, you kill the scab because he's shooting at you, right? Yeah. Like, like uh. Guys have been running lately. Like, you've got to shoot back. If you don't, they're just going to put one in your fucking Oh, they, it's yeah. ridiculous. Because they, they have increased in uh, kit potential. Last night on one of the uh, solo shoreline Wait, runs. No fucking scav backpacks. It's in the title for Christ's sake. Scav <laughs> backpack. <laughs> and I haven't seen a scav backpack on a scav for too long. Like three weeks. There was one today on our last run. But uh, he was there. I ended up running a solo and ran into a uh, a scav with an AK with a suppressor on it. A full auto really? AK. Like yes, we were, I've seen that a little bit. We were running woods on what was it Saturday, and we we had two scavs with the gazelles. Yeah, they were that, almost full. Oh shit! Yep, two yeah. gazelle scavs, and then there was one with the. Uh, it's not the six four BT helmet. It's the one that's covered in cloth that's camoed. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. Damn it! Yeah, the, I don't the know. Cloth, cloth covered ratnik. Yeah, pretty much. All right, what was everyone's most memorable raid of the week? Of the week last? Of the week last. I, I can think of one. So mine would be my completely brain fart moment of, hey, there's someone in the, uh, I think it was Emercom parking lot. And I was like, yeah, that's me. I'm wiggling. I was like, I don't see no wiggling. Bam. Someone's that's shooting enough. at me. Bam. Someone's be... still shooting at me. <laughs> that's going to be anything <laughs> in the parking lot. But... That's true. It was, it was foggy as hell. It was. Yeah, because that was the one. That was a was that our six man? No, that was a separate uh, no, one. That was a five. That was a five manner. Okay. I think we're trying to get a was... documents things for that, Pudge from yeah. the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Because that was where I was super heavy towards the end, and I was literally walking yeah, at a were, quarter yeah, speed. Right, you were you left like <laughs> ten minutes away uh, before us. You still caught up, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I think like, uh, I hit, the, I hit the run button, and it took a full one to two seconds to like run up and actually begin running right which i think is good like a funny all right what was yours fretzy oh, or go ahead go ahead crunch oh yeah but i was gonna say i think last week i think last week i dumped a couple of player scavs on that road between emercom and power station standing up on like the uh the warehouse outdoor shelving like, I just hear them running below, and it's just like, where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> just, like, could, like, totally, like, pulled some Chad shit on them. If that was last week, that was probably it. If it wasn't, then I would have to second country's motion where Vile Wolf was so damn heavy, and we just about... <laughs> Murdered him? Fellers, yeah. Almost died. Almost. That, that was a good one. I think I've got three different raids that stand out in my mind. Like... Number one was the uh, the duo that me and Country did, where we kept hearing those people getting hit by uh, shots in the bush. And we're going, what is, who's getting hit? And there had been like 12 oofs, and so it sounded like suppressed shots from way far away. There was two hatchlings sitting in a bush hacking at each other. And I realized, oh, they're probably in that bush. So I just unloaded my mag in that bush, killed one. The next one starts talking, so I shoot one more shot, and the other, he falls out of the bush. <laughs> There's a couple of hatchlings just trying to survive, and Pudge was like, "Nope, welcome to Tarkov." <laughs> Not letting that happen. No, no. uh What is it? Level and strength for you, boys. <laughs> that sounds very familiar to a raid that Biowolf and I yes. had on sh on Shoreline. <laughs> oh man, it was funny. Oh, that was weird. Like, what do we take? All of like 15 steps, and we just hear this. Oh, oh, oh. We were just <laughs> outside, so we had, and we're like, "What in the hell is this?" And we we were like all kinds of sketched out. Yeah. So we, we like, like sneak up on? on it, and we're just hearing this. What the hell is what is going on? Finally, I'm like twelve feet away from the backside of their shed, and I'm like, "Oh, now I get it." 
So I just run in there with like a hunter or something. And I just... Yeah, because there's no way they were getting it. It's just like, boof, oh, it dead. was just, yeah, <laughs> it was ridiculous, though. But same thing. You're just sitting there just fucking beating on each other. Like, just like what are you guys doing? Like, Carry think... some gas cans or whip some grenades at the end of your raid or something. I don't know. Yeah. I think number uh, two raid was the six man on interchange where we all got in. Insane. That was oh, so sure. sick, that one was, dude. That was great. <laughs> that was insane. That or the uh. Out, I oh, I guess last week I would, was I would actually say my number two would be when a uh, bio was shooting at that PMC. He was ADSing at me, and me and him traded. I blasted him in the face. He hit me in the chest. It's just really good to be on the winning side of that for once. I, I was thinking the uh, number one is the the rest in peace bio and crunch where I got out with the Chad TX fifteen with the thermal and then we killed the player on the uh, uh, hole in floor. Oh, that and guy. walked out with all the Chad gear and that started the fourteen win streak. Yep. I, I do have to put a check mark next to uh, the fourteen start. That VSS will forever be. Left in history. Yeah, Unless it comes back in insurance. Uh, I think it would have by now, yeah? All right. Uh, I lost it yesterday. Or, yeah, I don't remember. All right, Fretzy, what was yours? Honestly, I can't remember, like, the earlier raids this week. I just remember the... Obviously, like, the six-man, which was so this... freaking sick. That was so much fun. Um, But I also really liked the Woods raids that we did, which is... Hectic. Hectic. Um, yeah, you the, guys had some hot woods raids. Right? Yeah, I mean, we we killed mm -hmm. Sturman. We just ended up with a bunch of stuff, and the only one that got out was Pudge. And I started as so a cool naked stuff. little Mosinling and walked out yeah. with SVDS, full armor, Glock 17. Almost watched, walked out with an OPS KS, and well, I had an AK on top of that. Tries it. I was loaded walking out of that. It was so sick. Well, then the second one we did, like, right after. I think me and you died, and so we went back in. Yep, and, and then we went. killed these two, like, just, they were so full of loot. These two Super players. chads, too. And we just made out with a whole bunch of stuff. I thought, I thought nice. those were super, super fun. Those are good. I think, uh... <laughs> I love that we have two separate conversations. Yeah, that's great. Um, I I think my top two one was definitely the six man, just because of the fact that it happened, and it was amazing. Yeah, the the chances uh, of that happening. Right. Interchange has been so good for the six man possibility. Right. Because I'm before that, that, that scav run wasn't this week. It was like before that, because that's definitely an honorable mention where I died and scabbed back in. And got to like, team probably, back like, up. Raid of the forever at that yep. point, right? But um, it's either that or I believe the one where Gator actually ran with me a couple times. That first one we did where I dumped a couple players on the tech light escalator. Oh, yeah. That was a fun one. I was there with you. Yeah, that was great. All right. Last, last week was the week that we were doing a bunch of factory farming, wasn't it? Yeah, we had some rough oh, yeah, factory goes. Yeah, those were from that. Yeah, now I remember. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was good. Good Tarkov week. Yeah, it was. Is that a, was. Is this last week the one where I got shot in the face by country? No, that was the week before. Uh, yeah. Before. Right. That is what my mind knows. It knows prices of things and what raids happened when. <laughs> <The> dates and times. <laughs> It's one of my overall favorite Tarkov moments was the first first raid, not even just the first night, but first raid ever with Fretzy. He was like, hey, man, I'm going to give you a gun. I was like, dope, thanks. And then we're holding a building, and people are hearing stuff. I didn't hear him say he was coming up the stairs, and I just blast <laughs> him in the face with his own gun. <laughs> All right. Next topic. Please don't kill me with my own gun. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Tallahassee. So, so how are we feeling about like the state of the wipe right now? How how are we feeling coming close? Because like, twelve point five, twelve point six, we're like probably two months away at this rate. Um, I'm like I feel pretty good about the rate. Definitely, you can see people getting more 
chatty or like more geared at least like i've i've had a lot more deaths on shoreline lately just because of more people with more gear and i'm sure that they've learned just as much as we have um i'm really excited for the wipe actually just because you kind of get you know to restart you know the, how the game is played um i feel like i'm gonna do a lot better this wipe than i did well like this upcoming wipe than i did this past wipe mm-hmm. so I'm excited for the wipe. I think it can be tomorrow, and I would be so happy. Um, and it's just, and it comes down to everyone who has the experience is going to be on a roughly even level. Um, and just, I'm kind of curious what it's going to be like, you know, with some of the changes they made that didn't affect me this past, like the past updates, like. You know, resetting strength. Well, I already had my vents to level three, so it didn't matter. Or flea market at level ten. Well, I was already level like twenty, whatever, so it didn't matter, right? And I want to know what that's going to be like for experienced players who have to fuck around with that. I am and, also excited for that, right? Like, I want to see what kind of builds I'm going to have to live on, yeah, in order from the just the traders for the first ten levels. Um, and I think it'll push more people to questing earlier because, like, you know, I hit, I don't think I really focused quests until I was, like, level 15, 20, where I was just like, you know, what, we're just going to get these done. We're just going to do it and we're going to be good. And then I saw my level just skyrocket. It was great. Um, but I want to start doing that stuff earlier because, like, the first quest hits, I think, at level two. So, you know, you just need a couple, like, decent scav kill raids and you're good. I think you need one, I think it's 2,000 XP to get to level 2. Right, so that's like... One scav kill two. and a good loot. Yeah, well, like probably like two or three scav kills and good loot, I would say. Yeah, I guess because you're going to be at the point where you're only going to have an MBSS and a little rig. Little rig, MBSS, not even sure what guns you get, to be honest. I don't remember. I think uh, like scaving into places where there's raiders will help too and just being uh, able to pick up off those that's going to be the yeah. biggest if you can get the raider kills early you're going to have the biggest advantage i think because if you can get True. trooper armor in a tier 4 helmet no person with their little ps ammo out of their ak-74u unmodded is going to be able to take on you with an ak-104 that you picked up off a raider right and today i saw Something I'd never seen before. I saw one of the level two penis helmets save a man, and that man was Crunch. Um, we that were, was wild. We were in interchange, and we just like, we you know, hunting scavs, just doing our thing, and we were up in Ollie. Uh, we found some bunch of dead scavs that hadn't really been looted, and he starts looting, looting, looting. He gets pinged right in the head <laughs> from some player scav or whatever. And it didn't kill him, but it saved it, he, this helmet saved what him. What did I say? It did all of like two point two armor damage and took like ten, 10 health, flesh yeah. damage off my skull. Well, I was the going dude like... was real running around with his bell pretty well wrong, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it was> funny, <laughs> yeah. like that was pretty wild, but and then he, it, it, he like, throws a grenade barely tickled me. Dude just must have fucked off or something, I don't know. Uh, but it was it was hilarious. Yeah, that peen helm in the end. Uh, I was watching, I think it was, was it Tweak? Tweak was talking about it. Um, it's got the highest, like, it's got a very high, which is the, it's the only helmet with a very high ricochet chance. Mm-hmm. Everything else is just high. And it has stop, it can ricochet off even higher tiers, apparently. Like, higher tier ammo. I just think the chance of the higher tier ammo not penetrating is low. Low. Well, so and chances gonna... are this was a player scav too, so just like you no, said, no, three sure. six six vapor and all that. Oh, even or... still, that's why right, guys are just... running the penis helms as late as they are, right? Because of mm-hmm. the it's so useful, almost broken statistics that they've built into them. They're so cheap also, too. Like for for me and personally, make it cheap, yeah. like it might be more of a mindset thing, but it seems like the more money I put on gear, like armor, whether it's helm, uh, body armor, whatever. I seem to die easier than when I just run my budget runs. And that could be a mindset. I might play too safe when I'm running a higher cost item. But I seem to do better when I'm just doing my normal budget runs. 
It could which be. Which almost could be that, um... seems kind of backwards to me, but I could go right, well, that's... on that one for a minute. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It might be more of a mindset thing. I might just play too too cautious. I, th- I think it's the cautious. opposite. You play a little looser. Because I think you play to the fact that, oh, there's a bullet flying on me. I got tier 5, a helmet, and a face shield. I don't care. Let's go. Right. Right. That should be the mindset. But for me, I, I'm looking at the cost, right? Because I'm, I'm not in the double digits of the mills. I don't think it's so much the like the cost. It's like the fact that it's, it's not going to hurt me because I got this face shield and this tier 5 helmet. But if somebody shoots you in the back of the neck, I mean, it's still the back of the neck, and you've got no armor back there. Get dumped, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. And that's where I've been noticing. If I'm running like the really mid tier stuff, I play way smarter because I know I have to outsmart. I've been playing better running an Iron Sight SKS or Mosin with shit tier ammo than when I'm running good guns and good ammo. I'm not an M4 meta slave. <laughs> And probably never will be. I don't think I'm ever going to run an M. I like my SA-58s too much. Adar life is the life for me. I know. know. There isn't that damn ammo cost. (laughs) I mean, I'm right up there with you. Like Anywhere from 1 to 1,700. 1,000 to 1,700 for my ammo is rough. Very rough. Yeah, once it starts pushing the 12 and 1,300 around, it's just like, whoa. Yeah. I'll just uh, go, I'll uh, pump like four extra shots into him and hope that I'm accurate. Like, <laughs> right. It's at the point where I'm like, is if I just push the mouse really, 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 really fast. And I've noticed that like time to kill, even with worse rounds, isn't that much worse if you've got high cyclic rate. Like yeah. VSS, you can use the worst tier ammo and you can kill Chad's almost the same speed as if you were using pin ammo. Well, that just comes down to that at that point, recoil on the gun. Yeah, because, like, I mean, I miss a lot of shots because of recoil. Right? SA58 recoil? Because SA58 recoil kind of is bad. Hashtag so 308 problems. I'm careful with my shots. Yeah. So I got, so, a, I got a question. Sorry, go ahead. Finish. I'll ask after. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just, you know, I think it comes down to recoil. You can run the lesser ammo and still beat on people as long as your aim doesn't bounce around too much, you know? So, yeah. yeah. So, what point? Because like obviously you want to buy like enough armor or like sufficient oh, ammo to like make sure that you're safe and that you have like as much advantage as you can against the enemy. Where is like the point of going too much gear? I guess you could say like like being trying too hard to be like oh you know i want like the best air- i want an airframe i want the best armor the best ammo the best gun you know where do you draw the line of like you know this is good enough and i don't need to go yeah, like spend i think more. that's a i think that's a personal preference because mm-hmm. i would definitely yeah, agree yeah. Yeah, whatever gun you feel comfortable with even if it's a budget gun like if that's what you shoot best with a headshot's gonna dump them or i mean you know, whatever you're doing and Pudge told me day one, and it seems to be the most true thing I've learned about Tarkov is gun don't matter, it's the ammo. So yeah. like as far as as that side of it goes, that's what I would kind of my two cents on that. I, I, that's second most important. Number one most important is where your click goes, because if you shoot somebody in the face, it doesn't matter if you're using PS BP BT nine nine five. If their face is unprotected, yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you might have a bad time if it Port. can't pen at least tier three armor. Yeah, but it can crack that face shield. And now they're blind. So if you're I hitting see... people in the face, you're doing good. True. I don't know that, but not all of them are running face shields. Some of them are the plexi face shields. Some of them are running just straight like Alton face shields. Yeah, and then it's no That's fun for anybody. Control. At that point, you're just like, <laughs> I'm running. If you I ran into that today. fight, you're probably not having a good day. Mm. But just, just dump three extra rounds in his temple, it'll be fine. Right, just, just, just yeah, just, just, just click just, forehead and hope he doesn't yeah, notice. Just scab forehead. <laughs> I, I've been uh, yeah, just scab. Forehead. I've been noticing like the number one thing I've been doing. I've been starting to run these more high tier guns, like the TX15, the M1A, mm. running bigger budget guns. I went back to the ADAR. 
didn't change. Like it's I'm running the same setup on the ADAR. It's still a rail, but it costs a quarter of the price. Yeah. Because I can buy an ADAR for eight thousand, hit it out, and it's only a hundred and fifty. Or I can do a, a TX fifteen for two to three hundred thousand total. Yep. And that's why a lot of people just run the budgets. Because like it's still really, really good. It's still accurate, still clicks fast, still runs the good ammo types. You know, it's just at that point it's what kind of preference. Like how much ergo do you want to drop? Like put in there and how much recoil do you want to drop? Mm-hmm. I mean if you're shooting from really far away, it probably doesn't matter what the recoil is if you one tap them. Uh, four hundred meters is the dream, right? Mine is just hit somebody in the head from where I can barely see their head. So that's tough. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. All right, what do we feel about like the economy right now? What what's going on with like the Tarkov economy? What do you guys so feel like is going on with it? haven't really paid attention if anything with everything going on like i'm having my ak's i'm having my kits come back with absolutely no problem right and kind of like we were saying before sitting in the double digits of the mills it's like what the i I went and bought six expeditionary fuel tanks at like 120k a pop it's like all right so that's what it is i don't care what the economy is doing right now i can afford it all (laughs) You know, going back to the, you know, kind of the builds and what's comfortable with, I'm running fairly budget shit, and I'm coming out five to one raids with good gear, so I can afford anything I want. I don't care what the economy's doing. Okay, to to a rap brethren country, what's your opinion on it? Uh, Well, I kind of agree with Crunch, but from the opposite perspective of I run budget, so most of the time I can come out on top. I'm grinding these quests, as I said earlier. And so, you know, it don't cost me nothing to gear up and go. If I can just kill a couple things, throw some stuff in my gamma, I get out coming out on top, even if I die. But here lately, I've been getting out of more than I've been dying in. So I haven't paid too much attention to the economy. I buy what I need to and go from there. Okay, okay, that's fair. I've noticed, so, the the resident money person, because I don't get levels, I get money. Because I'm the only one here with the standard edition of this game, so I don't have the tier 3 stash. <laughs> yep, I have to pay attention, because I have to know value per slot. We're going to start I've... calling you Sage and Pudgenstein. <laughs> Pudgenstein. <laughs> That's awful. Or you could call me Scrooge McDuck. I'll call you Scrooge McSage. Scrooge McPudge. Okay, that's fair. But uh, I've been running in... So some of the industrial loot prices have gotten all sorts of out of whack, and I'm not really sure why. Like, propane tanks took the biggest dive I've ever seen. I think people will realize the the trade for that might not be worth it, whatever you trade for it. Well, now it actually is probably worth it now that they're half price. Well, now it is, but before it wasn't. Or they've got enough of whatever they're trying to buy, trade in. I don't know what it, the trade in is. I'd have to look it up. Um, what what are what are people trading those in? Hold on. I don't know what that trade is. It might be Red Rebel, honestly. Oh, that makes sense. Now that the Red Rebels are filled in, though, too. Right now that people get their Red Rebels, right? Yeah. So it's. You know, one I think is the mag mount for night force scopes, ooh, or yeah, you know, defuel propane tank and fuel conditioner, various amounts of those for the red rebel ice pick. Okay, that makes sense so to what's going what on. Is. Yeah, that think that's what it is. So as I think maybe either enough people have gotten them or uh people wow. are trying to just list them lower and lower as they find them and just. Maybe people, maybe the bot, they lowered like the bots spending, right? Like, oh, we're not going to spend anything over 25k for a propane tank or whatever the going average price is right now. That I makes guess. sense, that especially kind of since they're filled now. in and people can try and sell them now because that's their money making. Now yeah. I get it. Because buying all the stuff for a Red Rebel right now is 
about what half the price, I think. Quarter of the price, because D Field yeah. dove in price too. Oh, did it? D Field's yeah. down to sixty. D Field's at sixty. Oh. Yeah, one hundred and thirty yeah. down to sixty. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. And what was the third one? Fuel conditioner. Well, that'll still be that. That stays at ninety, uh, and that won't change. Yeah, that's because therapist takes it for ninety. And that's literally the only reason where it's like, well, if I want somebody to buy it, they have to make it worth, like, at least therapist prices, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that's backwards or not, but roughly, roughly that direction. Uh, Patsy, do you have any opinion on the economy itself? Mm -mm. Apparently not. Oh wait, what? <laughs> what happened? Do you have any opinion on the uh, the economy and what's going on with it? I know you're not very ratty. You're more Chad. Well, I think, I think once you kind of get over those double digit mill numbers, it is a little less worrying. <laughs> Money, but like it's still obviously a concern because like you don't want to. I mean, I've had days where you, you know, go in five rates and die every single time, right? And as a person, I like to run, you know, gazelles and expenses stuff. And so losing all that, you see your money start going down or your stash value go down. And so obviously you, you want to like, I, I like to keep checking on the things that I find most often. And when it does go down, it kind of sucks, you know, because you want to make sure that you're still in a place where you can go into a raid and, and play the way that you want to play. But so I mean, like the economy, it I mean, it's just like a normal in life economy too, you know. Yeah. Where you know things happen, and you know you do your best to, to make sure that you're okay. So. Realizing Tarkov for a Russian game is the best capitalist simulator there is. <laughs> if you sit on a is, large supply of something and wait on the well, price, you will I win. Say the best capitalism system but the best free market system it definitely is and i think those are two different things at this point uh just the way capitalism and all that shit let's not i'm not gonna go too much into it yeah but it's definitely the best free market system because and this is something i've noticed where and it annoys me and i definitely vented to you guys about it as it's happening where it's like why are you listing this thing for like two three grand less than the other top thing like don't you like money What's wrong with you? And I think that comes down to people don't care about money at a certain point. Like they've hit their hundred million and they're just like, well, I just want to offload this. I don't care how much it costs. Yeah. Let's give somebody a deal on something, which is cool, especially right. to newer players, especially it when is. I was starting and I got, I think it was an SKS for like 16 K off the flea market back when it was level five. And I was like, this is amazing. It didn't cost me 40,000. Right, and I'm sitting here like, but I the thing I just put on the market isn't gonna sell because ten people just undercut it, and mm -hmm. now I gotta wait ten hours for it to not sell. All about the That's, timings. It is, and I agree with that because um, a lot of stuff is fluctuating a lot. Like when I bought the graphics cards, they were all under or around three hundred k. When I had looked a couple days before, they were like three twenty, three thirty. So it it's had been riding a, this wave, and I just happened to hit it when it was lower or lowering. It almost um, reminds me of a World of Warcraft type of economy, where it's like, mm -hmm. if you jump in on a Thursday at 2 in the morning, you'll be fine. But hit right. it on I wonder, Tuesday on Monday, and it's just like, or Tuesday at 2, and it's just like, everything's wicked inflated, because... Yeah, dude, that, you know, that WoW knows. economy is so fluctuated. So like, me and my buddy, we used to play it heavy. We would get on there, we'd compile our gold, and we'd buy, like, all the wool, because wool was, like, the hot ticket item for every craft, right? So, and yeah. not to take away from Tarkov now and jump on a different game, but uh, we'd buy all of that, and then we'd I'll put it down. back on the market for a higher price. Now we own the market, and everyone has to buy our wool. And so, like, that, the the market on that game, and, and could transfer over to this game, is so volatile when people, you know, you get enough money, you can just do what you want with the market. I think that's what, one of the coolest things about Tarkov is it doesn't matter like what type of player you are. You could be, you know, an FPS player. You could be whatever. It's 
you're going to have fun in it. You're going to find something to do, you know, mm-hmm. whether it's, right. you know, going to shoot people or sitting on the market for an hour flipping things, which yeah. I think is so cool. That, Rest in know, peace, Pilgrim just, Flip. There's so much that goes into it, so much to learn, so much to, you know, see in Tarkov. I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, I, th- I think... April is bringing up some good points in yeah. chat where it's like, you know, if you undercut, it'll sell quicker. And I get it. Like, if you're trying to get the money and something doesn't sell, yeah, you just wasted the fee. But I mean, like, at a certain point, you just stop caring about the fee. Hmm. Like, I, so I won, and this is, this is gonna hurt people who don't have a lot of money, but I won a blue key card, blue labs key card from Sharptooth Stream, right? And he's like, just put up some silly shit for it. So I put up a can of Tushanka. Market fee was about two million. And I paid it. It took it right out of my money for that blue key card. And that was without even selling. That was just to get it. I put in two billion on a can of Tushanka. <laughs> most expensive Tushanka that I was ever sold. <laughs> two million. And I was like, yeah, I'm still over 30. I don't care. All right. All right. 30 mil at the end. And I get that, like, lower levels, you know, you're going to need more money. Like, if you haven't hit your you know, first couple million, like, flea, flea market fees can hurt. But after, um, yeah, after you've made the money at a certain point, you just, like, put it up for that middle price. And if it doesn't sell, well, you, you lost a, a thousand or two. Yeah. Depending on the item. It depends on the item because fees for certain items are are steeper, right? And I still haven't figured all that out yet. Like, so. Items are more expensive flea market fees or not so it's based off of the value that the traders hold to it so common items like uh like the bullshit chocolate chocolate trade that they've just updated because flea marketing it is now a ten thousand dollar fee for a thirty thousand dollar chocolate bar so now it's a twenty thousand dollar chocolate bar essentially which is about what it was before yeah in price which is fine but sugar jumped in price too sugar's fee is not near as bad but it's something about the rarity of the item is part of it. Hmm. Like so common items have a higher fee. Uh, I think it's common uh, usable items. Like if yeah. you post up a a cheese or something, the higher you post that, the harder the fee is on it. Gotcha. And I think they have a, a weird value system hiding in there that we're not oh, all okay. aware of. Yeah, they definitely because do. uh. Like you can sell IFAX, yeah, for I think it's fifteen thousand new, and your feed, um, I think it's twenty eight hundred. Okay. So anything that has like a use to it is what burns more money because ammo's got a way higher fee to it as well. I feel like the ammo fee isn't actually that bad though, because like no, if I'm putting up, Sam putting up my typical pistol ammo or whatever that i put up from the blue gunpowder i think i'm paying about 800 rubles for a fee for something that's going to return about 11 12k total that's not too bad it's not too bad it's the also, highest like, tier ammo is the problem for red rebel right now the price is about 4.1 mil by the hey hey oh because i was going to check the fee on that just to be like i wonder Right, so if I put it up for the lowest price, four million one seventy eight thousand. The fee there is one point one mil. It's about a quarter, a little over a quarter. Right. Oof. Oof. Not doing that. Alrighty. It's buying the shit for it and then re flipping it on the market worth it yeah so um i think we should uh wrap this up and get to raiding guys i I think i think the uh, the first twist cast uh wasn't wasn't too bad we had a little bumpy of a start i mean it took a little to get figured out but i think it was good so uh all podcasts kind of have that so um that's fine are we able to like like for anyone in our chats can we 
like give them information on where they can like post questions for like a future podcast maybe yeah uh send them to discord i will make a podcast questions cool like a q a yeah so, okay sweet so uh we will see you guys next time um we haven't figured out a schedule but i will get that uh in the works here with these beautiful beautiful folks that i play with and hang out with so much and yeah, we I will mean, get like four fifths are pretty good looking i mean yeah pretty much i probably can't see fretzy's face other than just like this sad pictures like halfway oh, angled yeah, you cover up nine yeah you're still froze yes. no dude <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll figure this out so uh thank well, y'all you know, cover me up and no, no. Quality improves. no i'm thinking that that beanie is amazing and we got the full hat set up i mean this i may have to get my guinness one for my car uh yes so we'll do that. Well, next I mean, time. next time you're gonna have the cowboy hat. So ye well, ye. I don't know how that's gonna work with a headset. But it's challenging. Uh, I've done this. Bit.